My name is Juan Alfonso, and you're watching Jumpstart. This is going to be the first of several videos that I want to put together. Uh, this will be my first product review, but in the future, I'm hoping to expand the channel and also uh, delve a little bit into financial basics because that's something that I'm heavily into. Um, and in addition to that, just kind of reviewing different TV shows and uh, movies that I'm personally very interested in. Now, with that said, for today's product review, I'm actually going to go over a grip stick. This is actually um, marketed as the new HD flexible tripod and selfie stick. So a little bit of background uh, about me when it comes to video and photography equipment. I was a public affairs uh, specialist in the Marine Corps for eight years. And I currently work in social media as a social media manager in addition to producing video, creating images, etc. Uh, part of the reason I decided to make this video was just because when I was in the military, I didn't realize just how spoiled we were. You know, the average, you know, photographer is going out with anywhere between seven to $13,000 worth of camera equipment on them. And for those of us who want to maybe explore creating our own content, you know, it, it can get pretty expensive. So one of the reasons that I like this grip stick option is because it's actually incredibly inexpensive. What my company does is we essentially do the marketing and the video production and the graphic design and all the social media for our clients. And we're a startup company. We don't have a lot of funds. We can't go out and spend $13,000 on a massive um, you know, professional uh, end camera kit. Uh, the beauty of today's technology, though, however, is that you don't need to have that incredibly expensive gear in order to create just basic quality videos. Right now, I'm actually shooting this video using an iPhone XS Max, and, which I plan on doing a product review of in the future. And I actually purchased this selfie stick for the and tripod specifically to use with this. One of the things that it comes with is this great selfie stick. It has two different points of extension. And like, it's what you can expect to get in a basic selfie stick, right? You're, you're not really looking for much. It's, pre it's a pretty inexpensive product. The grip on it is pretty good. I have no complaints there. My only one real complaint when it comes to the stick is the remote control that they have attached to it. A um, couple of issues with it. Number one is if you're using it for an Android, this is great because it's got those, and I'm gonna bring it in for you guys a little closer. It's got the, that plus and minus zoom buttons on it, but that doesn't work with Apple products. Um, so if you're using an Android, great. If you're not using an Apple, um, if, you, if you are using an Apple product, it can get really annoying when you're in the middle of a shoot and you have the camera attached to this and you have your stick shoved out and next thing that you know you actually got to bring it back in because you got to adjust the zoom or you have to reach out and it just kind of messes with your stability overall not the best product but luckily this component is something that you can easily switch out there are plenty of replacements you can find online that are super inexpensive that work just fine with iphone it'll cost you a little extra but considering that this total kit is only about forty dollars compared to what a professional grade kit could be at least $300, you've got more than enough money to spare to really invest in, in something that, that'll work for your purposes. Um, in addition to that, it comes with actually two cell phone clips. One of them is actually being used on the tripod right now as I'm recording this video. The other one, just standard clip, works with most cell phones. It has a heavier metal one, which is the one that I'm currently holding on to, and I'll go into why you want to maybe use this, particularly on the tripod most of the time. And then you have a softer plastic one, which is the one that I'm currently using on the tripod for the video right now. Some of the other things that it comes with, uh, for folks with GoPros, it has a GoPro adapter. 
it works just fine. I have no complaints about it. I personally don't have a GoPro, but I tested it out uh, with a friend of mine's and no complaints. Now, a few things that you do need to know about this product is that when you first take it out, you're gonna need something to grip, some kind of gripping tool. Um, and the instructions really don't show this very well. So one of the advantages to this kit is that you can take the tripod, and I will be showing some video of it for you guys later, and you can attach it to the stick so you get an extended tripod. The big downside is the instructions don't really show you how to do it. So what you're staring at when you get this, it seems pretty obvious that this screws off, right? It has to, because it's the only way that, mm, that the two things would fit. But it doesn't actually show it in the instructions. And on top of that, it's actually incredibly difficult to turn. It's stuck in there really well. So the first time that I opened this, it took me a good half hour of fiddling around with it, feeling like a total idiot before I realized that all I needed was a pair of pliers and it'll come to loosen it up and it comes off just fine. And then once it's off, you just attach it to the base of your tripod. Now, I wanted to show you guys what this stick looks like when it's actually attached to the tripod and it as you can see you get about three and a half maybe four feet of length total which isn't ideal you know ideally i want at least another foot to be able to play with uh depending on the event and you know depending on what the surface is like because you, you're never really sure and on top of that it, it does have one other kind of fatal flaw to it. Here, the moment that I touch it, it's extremely wobbly, right? The, the tiniest little touch and this thing starts rocking back and forth, which can be pretty problematic if you're trying to use it for live streaming. Um, I would actually recommend that if you're in a crowd of people the, to put it somewhere elevated. Put, you wanna put it somewhere away from your audience. That way you're not gonna have people accidentally um, tripping on your gear or accidentally lightly touching it and then ruining your video. One of the more interesting features of this kit is that the tripod, as you can see, can pretty much be wrapped around and connected to almost any surface. And unlike when it's connected to the selfie stick, it's actually incredibly stable. Like this thing does not move unless you don't want it to. And the legs are surprisingly strong and can pretty much attach to anything, almost any angle, zero issues there. Unfortunately, it's this awesome feature of the product is actually one of the reasons that it's so unstable when you put it on the tripod. Because the legs aren't actually fixed metal sticks that can essentially be uh, adjusted into place and then made immovable, um, while they are tight, there is always kind of a level of flexibility to them that just kind of adds to the issues that I discussed before. In addition to the things that I've shown you, the kit also comes with this bag, which fits all of the materials in it. Although, while it works just fine, I do recommend that if you're going to put together a professional camera kit, that you do get yourself some kind of uh, protective bag that you can use. Um, and I will be doing a product review video on the one that I ended up ordering for our company. Uh, another tip that I want to point out to anyone that purchases this product is don't forget when you're done using the tripod and the selfie stick in combination to put the tether piece back on the end of the selfie, selfie stick. Because what this tether piece does is that it wraps around your wrist and it makes it so that even if you drop the stick, your phone and isn't going to go flying to the floor because it will just hang off of your wrist. My final review for this product is to really give it probably a 7.5 out of 10. I mean, at the end of the day, it's an inexpensive product that gets the job done. So if you're trying to do some basic videography, you don't have a lot of money, um, and you just kind of want to dabble in it, just make some basic content, then I absolutely recommend this. You know, the price point alone at $39.99 makes it a steal. Um, however, I will say that once, you, if you ever do get to the point where it's time to upgrade to some really high professional quality video, you will want to invest in a more formal, heavier uh, tripod stand. 
really uh, my last uh, bit of advice when it comes to using the selfie stick or the tripod is whenever possible, you want to use the metal clip not the plastic clip. It seems kind of counterintuitive to people that aren't videographers and photographers, but you don't want your camera gear to be absolutely weightless. You want your camera gear to have some kind of weight to it because that's actually going to help with stability. Um, you know, it, it forces you to kind of hold your equipment closer and tighter to your body, which ends up with you having a much more stable shot. And when you're combining the tripod and the selfie stick together, the fact that the top is just a little heavier does help with that stability. Now that's the end of my product review. If you're interested in purchasing it, I am including an Amazon affiliate link in the description. And if you found this video enjoyable and helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it.